Welcome back. We're going to take a look at an AIR ABS modulator. The modulator in our ABS circuit is the valve responsible to release the air that has been sent from the service relay to the brake service pod. When we take a look at the modulator, we have two air ports and we have one electrical connection with three terminals. We have an inlet port and we have an outlet port. And as we look through the module, we see that the modulator in its normal state is a pass-through device. What that means is that the air will pass in one and come out two and make a normal service brake application. When the ECM detects wheel lockup, it will send an electrical signal to the terminals on the modulator and it will operate either the inlet or the exhaust or outlet solenoids. Our normal operation would be to operate the inlet solenoid blocking the air so that no further air can come into the modulator and then if the wheels continue to lock up would be to dump or open the exhaust port allowing the air to come from the service pot through into our exhaust port. If we take a look at the electrical connections using our meter, we'll see that our, for our continuity check, so let's put it into ohms, when we take a look at our continuity check, we can make a connection from here to here. I'll just move this over so we can see it. And you'll see we have a resistance value of 5.5. 5 ohms. If we take a look from this pin here to this pin here, we also have a resistance value of 5.5, 5 5.4 ohms. If I take a connection from this pin to this pin, what we notice is that the resistance values add together and we get 10.7 ohms. The reason for this is that we actually have an inlet and then a common ground, an exhaust, and a common ground. So we actually have are the two solenoids being operated on one connector with a common dedicated ground that goes back to the ECM. This is what allows our ECM to self-diagnose when the solenoid coils are not operating as they should.